Hi folks, so uh, welcome to this quick video that's going to introduce the Hubson X4107D, the first quad that I've ever owned and uh, a hell of a lot of fun to fly to be honest. So yeah, hi I'm Dom uh, and I've been flying a Hubson now for a little while. Um, I've crashed it a hell of a lot of times, I've broken all the propellers at one point or another, actually smashed the entire case off, I've had to have it apart, resoldered engines, motors on it, I resoldered the LEDs, changed the entire shell, everything. So I'm um, fairly well qualified now to talk about what can go wrong with these things um, and the kind of things you might want to buy in advance so it makes it a little bit quicker when you do eventually smash it into a brick wall. So let's start by having a look at what you get in the default pack. So this is it, a basic Hubson X107D. Um, what's nice about this is about £35, got four two-inch props, uh, it's actually got a camera which can record on micro HD 720p little slot at the back here um, let's go and pull my little mini SD card out and slot it in um, comes with a battery it's always helpful um, and it also comes with a controller so you can fly the thing and again that's kind of useful um, and what's really useful and you might not fully appreciate at first is this thing so it doesn't come fitted in the box, but if you use this little handy tool that does come in the box, take your props off like so, and then fit this over the motor, stick your props back on, do that for all four, and then this thing, as it's spinning and you're hitting walls, won't chip the propellers too badly. So put that on. I was um, foolhardy enough to think that I'd be able to fly this out of the box. Uh, of course that was a mistake and I broke quite a few props so um, I'd heartily recommend using this little thing at least for the first first few flights. So that's your very basic introduction. I'll take you through what this uh, controller does and then we'll talk about crash packs. So um, don't need to turn it on actually. So this left stick here is the power to the engines so that's how quickly you go up or down if you just pop, pop down it's going to hit the floor you do this it's going to go up into the sky until it loses reception so somewhere around there is better left right here that's going to rotate your quad like this the other stick is all about movement so that's forwards and backwards like that and this one here left and right like this so you've got four different controls here which can be quite confusing to start with um, if you've flown a little helicopter before then these things are a hell of a lot more stable actually um, so you'll find yourself as long as you take it gently you'll be able to pick it up um, but the first time you go full forwards you'll suddenly realize how much quicker these things are than helicopters um, I'll show you a few videos later on of the speed that this thing can go at it's pretty impressive to be honest so what do you need to buy next then well comes with four propellers so the first time you smash into a wall hard you're going to chip it keep doing that a few times propellers don't work so what I'd recommend is you get hold of a crash pack which comes with four sets of propellers a spare battery just in case it's not a very good battery but hey it's better than nothing it comes with a spare case although you'll notice this one is the wrong case and it comes with spare motors and again, sadly, these are not the motors you need for Hubson X107D because I bought the crash pack for a Hubson B. So uh, pay attention to that when you get your crash pack. Uh, but it will come in handy. And just to mention, it's a bit of super glue. Probably a good idea as well, to be honest. Um, next thing you probably want is some of these, which are your spare batteries. And you can also get one of these as well, which is a multi-battery charger. You don't have to charge them one at a time, it's really very boring. Um, so that's some of the basic stuff you want to get with your Hubson. Um, let me turn this thing on now, just see how it works. Boom, there we go. Lights are flashing. Turn the controller on. It has now bound. Give it some throttle, and it flies. I'm not going to take this up in this room, it's very small. Um, but you can fly indoors, although probably a good idea to use your little crash pack thing. So there we go, and just to show another thing, this is your video. Little button just there. Click the button. It's 
start to get a red flashing light. That's now recording video. Hello. There's my Mobius camera. Webcam. There's my microphone. That's me again. So um, what I'll do is I'll take this little video off uh, in a minute and cut that into the video. If you press the button again, that actually saves the video. So unless you do that, you are going to lose your video, which is very annoying. Um, so there we go. Quick introduction to the Hubson. Um, I have to say, I'm really seriously impressed with how this flies. I've had um, cheap helicopters before, and they're they're painful. They don't fly brilliantly, um, but that thing is is really decent. So I'll put a couple of videos on here. Probably one of uh, a high flight, very easy to take high. Maybe one with a fast pass, just so you can get a feel for it. And I'll splice those in a second. So. Um, yeah, heartily recommend it. Best thirty-five pounds you're ever going to spend on the Hubson, um, but you probably do want to spend another twenty on a, some things for when you break it, which you inevitably will. Um, and if you really want to get into it, then you'll probably want a soldering iron as well, because uh, to actually replace the motors, you're going to have to solder off on the board inside here, and you want a little screwdriver to get the screws out. And uh, yeah, you want a bit of bravery as well, because I tell you, it's a bit scary. But I did actually. Manage fix this myself on a couple of nasty crashes so it is doable so yeah hope you enjoyed that um, it's going to be a nice comparison actually because I'm now building a proper 250 quad um, which is a very different kind of beast so we'll see what happens with that one uh, so yeah tune in if you want to see what I end up doing with that uh, yeah thanks very much hope that's kind of useful for someone and um, yeah watch some of my other videos if you fancy it cheers <laughs>